Hello, I'm Kimberly Miller with University Television Production. Today is September 9th, 2013. I'm here at the Women's Center where they're putting on a media-minded open house and concerning tropes and means and how they affect the general people. I'll be interviewing Elaine McNulty who put on the event and Kate Stevens. I'm here with Elaine McNulty, the gender equity peer educator and Kate Steven, the program coordinator. The topic of discussion today is media literacy through tropes and means. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. Here at the Women's Center, we're just trying to show everyone like, stuff about gender equity. And through that, we can go through and see like memes. Memes are a really common thing on the internet. So, and they show sometimes not very positive they show a lot of stereotypes. Yeah, through, I mean, from the damsel in distress trope where a woman is always having to be saved uh, by a man. You can see it in Mario Kart, you see it in Spider-Man, you see it in comic books and music, you see it everywhere. So what Eileen has done is pull out some of those stereotypes in media and try to unpack them and see if there are positive ones out there in the media. And how do you feel it um, affects Boise State students, these memes and tropes? Well, a lot of times when we see these memes, we don't even realize that we're internalizing these messages that they're trying to show us. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that like, I bring them out and like the Women's Center will show that people that like maybe these messages aren't very like good. And we try to show that like since these... Mm -mm. Since they're so popular? Yeah. yeah, I think it's because they're so popular, you see them every day when you're scrolling through Facebook and you don't even think about, wow, that's a really bad stereotype about uh, how women are in relationships or what race means to different types of education. So with um, negative memes, do you feel like it will negatively affect how people view women? I think that people don't even think about it when they see those stereotypes. They just take it as maybe that's fact and it reinforces this idea, these stereotypes that are really negative and since people don't have that knowledge to really unpack it they don't see why it's so negative so here at the women's center today at the open house we're trying to get people to think a little bit deeper about what those memes mean so what else does the women's center offer go for it <laughs> uh, the women's center offers it's a student resource here on campus uh, we've got six peer our peer educators which are student staff that do a lot of programs that just show like healthy relationships or gender equity and they're open to just people who want to come in and learn new things like we just did a workshop that was about consent mm -hmm. so it's just trying to show people like new ways to think about things that maybe they just haven't really thought about in like a critical manner so how are students able to contact the women's center there are several different ways a student could contact the Women's Center just by walking in. We're open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. They can utilize our website and sign up for our newsletter, email any of the professional staff members. Um, they can call our office at any time and set up an appointment. Uh, along with the programming, we also offer confidential support resources. We have a licensed master social worker who can give financial, personal, or academic support to any student who would need it. Well, I appreciate you coming in today and letting me speak to you. I'm Kimberly Miller for University Television Production.